Hello guys, and um, uh, yeah, so I'm back. I have, um, I've been up hired at this new job uh, over working at the Dell building. And um, so I'm working for uh, a contractor of Dell. Uh, so, but I'm still working at the Dell building now. And uh, here lately it's been getting kind of a little bit harder and harder to, uh, or it's been kind of harder to get videos out because I've been kind of strapped for time here lately because uh, I've been working 40 hours a week for the past uh, couple weeks while I've been in training. But so far uh, it's slowing down and I'm going to be slowing down to part time for a short time. And then I'm probably going to ramp back up to full time because I want to be able to get all that money because I need to make sure that uh, the bills get paid and then everything gets into good shape. The good thing is I still don't own my my own apartment or anything so bills are pretty minimal but I'd still like to build up that money so that I can have a sort of future to look forward to so go ahead going ahead and just by seeing what you're seeing on screen you should be seeing that um, I went and bought Ryzen currently I have the i7 6700k and it's been doing a really good job up to this point but I really need more power and the problem with uh, Intel currently is that a lot of their stuff is a lot is a lot more expensive. So, like for example, the i7 6900K on Amazon right now. If you were to get your hands on one right now, it would cost a thousand dollars, which is completely and utterly ridiculous, considering the fact that Ryzen, this particular chip I'm getting right here, is four hundred dollars. Now I understand it has certain advantages like quad channel memory and uh, 40 PCIe lanes and a bunch of other small little details that make it superior in some ways. But charging a thousand dollars for it, I could maybe see 750 at most, and even then that's a little too much because it's like it's really only worth about 600. I would personally say, still very good, but definitely could be doing much better. But that's the market that we've been in, so that is totally fine. That's fun. Indeed. So, uh, I actually got the processor in here the other day, and I'm not going to have my webcam on. I don't really feel like pulling it up, but I do, I do actually have it, and I can't show you. And that was the box for it, but I also got my Xeon just kind of sit chilling in the box. Cause I bought a Xeon that was an engineering sample now uh, for as far as the motherboard goes I haven't had my I haven't gotten it yet but the good news is um, that I'll be getting I'll be getting it here on Monday because it actually shipped out today I ordered it back in the way in the 22nd when it was still being pre-ordered so it's been it's been quite a while since I got it I guess they uh, got it in stock yesterday and then they shipped it out to USPS today. Now, I was expected to get it on Tuesday but it looks like I'm being moved up to Monday which is great because then that means that I can get it I can get it up quicker and actually be doing like benchmarks and stuff. So what I'm actually going to be doing with um, the Ryzen and the i7-6700K is that I'm going to get, be getting them to fight each other in a head-to-head -head battle in both uh, single threaded and multi-threaded and pretty much like a bunch of different various benchmarks one of the benchmarks that I'll tell you that I'll be using right now is uh, Cinebench R15 um, Ada64 I ran a bunch of them uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 I've got some ultra specific settings but it's just the way I like to play the game at 4k so I'm gonna be using those ultra specific settings and then the ultra preset for Total War Warhammer, though sadly I cannot include minimum frame rates due to uh, Fraps not being able to pick it up. And a lot of these tests are not going to be 100% accurate. They're going to be as close as I can get them on the first run. And I'm trying to keep the, all the runs the same. But they're still going to look lower than most cases because I have a lot of programs that I run on my desktop. But I've tried to minimize as much as I could. 
since I don't have any like additional motherboards and hard drives and all this other junk and I run a productive system so I'll be getting in I'll be getting that in and installed probably out here on Monday and then I'll be running the benchmarks for that I fully expect to be um, uploading a MMD video probably within the uh, next couple of days I would assume I'm not sure how it's gonna go I don't know if I'm gonna try to put in some like try to go put some intense detail and try to really make it a video but give me a couple of days and I'm gonna be uh, posting that one I went ahead and got started on it but I still got about another 6,000 or so frames to render and I'm still gonna try to figure out where I want to cut them off between scene to scene so we'll see how that goes so moving on we're gonna go ahead and uh, sh I'm gonna go ahead and show you the uh, Ryzen benchmarks and see how it performs my 6700k is right here so automatically it's slower ignore that because I had it translated from German the computer base is pretty good about that but the uh, i7 6700k it's still very good on that benchmark and uh, here later it's gonna show itself to be uh, truly a monster for example the 1800x I'm getting the 1700x but I plan on letting it push a little bit harder if I can but it, it's very close to the 6900k which as we had shown you earlier it was a thousand dollar CPU and this is like a four hundred dollar CPU and that's insane and amazing and I'm like my yeah see look here's my processor way the hell down there I'm gonna compete I'm also gonna be doing a comparison a pretty fair comparison and then I'm gonna be doing a stock comparison so what I mean by that is I'm gonna be do, running both let them run at stock and let them just do whatever at stock and then um, I'll go ahead and let the um, Ryzen 1700X also run at stock and then I'll have both of them on the core and the cache at 3.5 gigahertz because if you just down clock both of them to 3.5 gigahertz there will be a uh, cache clock speed disparity that'll cause the i7-6700K to have an advantage in that regard so I'm gonna be trying to keep that a fair test and keep it fair and being able to show you exactly like where it succeeds and where it fails and then moving on we're gonna go down to WinRAR I don't know much about these other ones but I know WinRAR is a pretty decent compression one now I would assume some of these programs are not fully optimized for Ryzen simply because it's like a newer architecture and it doesn't know how to take advantage of um, some of these uh, these uh, instructions or maybe it's not like it just doesn't know how to take care of take advantage of any sort of the architecture and it only tries to but it doesn't do a very good job it probably could look better but it can highly just depend so ultimately it would be um, better to think that um, I guess this is where we're at for right now but this is where it's probably going to matter the most for me is uh, video encoding because uh, I stopped using uh, GPU accelerated edit video encoding a while back because I was using it for a while but then I realized once I started editing stuff that it became uh, having problematic became problematic as I was trying to edit down the video like adding in stuff and then it became just uh, started getting glitches in the videos so I just went in and switched back to CPU only encoding but I tried getting off whatever speed I can to try to speed up the process using a mix of CPU and GPU resources to do that and so far it's been doing pretty well but if you look way down yeah down here a hundred percent and then you look up here the 1700x is like 30 percent faster which is still quite a lot faster and that'll help me greatly and we're this will just, just do wonders for me I know it's like it's still very early to say a lot but like there's there's plenty of like just different things that have happened See, this is what I do not understand. Nobody in their right mind is going to be running 
uh, 720p games. And that's not really a fair test either because Ryzen is still very new, as I was saying, and a lot of the drivers and even Windows 10 has have been having problems where they had a scheduler bug or they have scheduler bugs and stuff. For example, there is a cache. They, the way that Windows sees how much cache is on Ryzen is uh, eight times more than what it really should be. So instead of it seeing like about, if I remember correctly, two megabytes per core, it sees 16 megabytes per core. So then it, it's like it's just wrongly thought of. So they needed to fix that bug. I don't know if they fixed it or not, but they're going to need to fix it. But, yeah, I don't think that's a really fair comparison to put it the Ryzen at that low of a resolution. No, what is this? Okay. I don't know if these games were running at max settings or what, but for me, I'm going to be running 4K, so I'm only going to be getting, I'm only wanting like about 30 frames per second. Now, where it seems to do pretty well is in the minimums, probably because it's able to take a better advantage of the hardware in it which doesn't actually seem to be the case in this case interestingly enough but there are a lot of games that where I'm gonna be only running about 60 frames per second so this is gonna be interesting to okay this is gonna be interesting and uh, yeah so this is where I'm standing right now and right now we're in just in the middle of a fiasco so I'm still trying to figure out everything but so far, I think I've gotten everything kind of figured out, but I just kind of wanted to update you guys since I've been very, very dead, and I haven't uploaded, like I had a gap where I had two weeks without a video. And I'm coming back because um, I'm having a, a friend help me out, and I'm going to be crediting, crediting him 110% uh, for his uh, work in Adobe After Effects. And so... He'll be creating a new template for me so that I can make uh, new videos. Now, if that template turns out that uh, I can't really run it too great, then oh well, because it's a 3D template, so it's kind of more, a lot more complex than a lot of the other ones that I used. But if it works out, it works out really well, and I'll be ahead. But if this all works out really well, then I should be expecting to start pumping out videos off and on for sure but we'll see how it goes so hopefully this uh, kind of clarified some things that I had not told y'all yet and um, yeah so I guess uh, let me know how y'all have been and that sort of deal alright you guys have a good one